तो वो सब होता है कि अगर ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट रहोगे कि हाँ फिजिक्स तो कर लिया अब केमिस्ट्री क्या ही है लास्ट मोमेंट में ये होगा कि क्या पढ़ू क्या पढ़ू वाला एक फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स फॉर स्टार्टिंग देयर सिलेबस राइट नाउ आई वॉन्ट रिकमेंड यू टू डू एनी सोए हुए हो टी देख रहे हो या बाहर दोस्तों के साथ घूमने चले गए कि पाँच दिन की छुट्टी है एग्जाम तो है अभी देखेंगे गुड जो सेल्फ द इन्विजुलेटर सी दैट फो द स्टूडेंट राइट्स इन अ क्लीन वे एन विल हेल्प यू गेट इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन एंटायर केमिस्ट्री स्ट्रेटेजी सो हियर वी आर टूडे वी हैव प्रेम घोष हु हैव स्कोर्ड हंड्रेड बाई हंड्रेड इन इस केमिस्ट्री पेपर एंड ही विल बी गाइडिंग यू ऑन हाउ यू कैन क्रैक दट हंड्रेड बाई हंड्रेड और इवन एस योर सी बी एस ई केमिस्ट्री पेपर इन लास्ट फ्यू डेज So without any further ado let's switch our cameras to Priyam Ghosh but before that I want you to like this video share this video with your all friends and subscribe to our channel and comment down in the comment section that we will rock CBSC 2025 with that let's switch our cameras to Priyam Ghosh hi priyam hello bhaiya uh, so in our previous uh, physics video physics strategy video which was very helpful for a lot of uh, viewers so now their situation is like some of them might have wrote their physics examination and now they have to give their chemistry examination mm-hmm. which is on 27th of february 2025 yeah. so before we deep dive into the strategies if you can share your experiences of your friends experiences it would be very helpful for them over to you okay so uh, when i was preparing for my boards exam or when my exams were going on uh, first exam for us was physics basically after that we had uh, exams like chemistry and english etc so when subjects like that uh, pop up in our uh, schedule most students even my friends were like oh physics to ho gaya ab to main high weightage subject chala gaya chemistry to padh hi chuke hum log aur usko thoda thoda upar se pad revise kar lenge to ho jayega but fir jab exam khatam hua chemistry ka fir jab wo hota hai movement jab exam likhne ke baad jab hum uh, campus ke andar hi jab chal chal ke discuss karte hai ki paper mein kya hua kya questions ke answer hue to us time bahuton ka yahi hua ki are yaar padhna chahiye tha कि बहुत सारे कॉन्सेप्ट्स वो थे जो मिस आउट हो गए या बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस पैटर्न या न्यूमेरिकल से जिसमें मिस्टेक हो गया या कोई यूनिट लिखना भूल गया या कोई फॉर्मूला ही गलत अप्लाई कर दिया तो वो सब होता है कि अगर ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट रहोगे कि हाँ फिजिक्स तो कर लिया अब केमिस्ट्री क्या ही है तो बहुत हाई चांसेस है कि तुम्हारा केमिस्ट्री एग्जाम डाउनफॉल हो सकता है तो उसके लिए मैं ही बोलूँगा कि तुम्हारे पूरा एग्जाम वीक जो होगा अभी स्टार्टिंग फ्राम ट्वेंटी तो जब तक तुम्हारा फोर्थ फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट तक होगा उस टाइम तुम एक कंसिस्टेंट uh, रहो कि तुम्हारा जो भी स्टडी पैटर्न है या तुम्हारा जो स्केड्यूल है उसको तुम फॉलो करो ऐसा नहीं कि एग्जाम हो गया मैं एक दिन पूरा वेस्ट कर दिया लेट के टीवी देखा फोन चलाया ऐसा कुछ किया फिर फिर कल पढ़ेंगे ऐसे पोस्टपोन कर दिया तो वो मत करो क्योंकि लास्ट मोमेंट में ये होगा कि क्या पढ़ू क्या पढ़ू वाला एक हॉच पॉच जैसा सिचुएशन हो जाएगा और तुम्हारा एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन उतना अच्छा नहीं हो सकता और एक पॉइंट uh, मैं ऐड करूंगा कि तुमने पूरा साल मेहनत किया इतने सारे पेपर्स लिखे हाफ ईयरली प्री बोर्ड्स कोचिंग गए खुद से प्रिपेयर किए और अगर अब तुम लास्ट मोमेंट में अगर वो चिल सिचुएशन में बैठो कि सब आता है मुझे और इस एंड जब डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर तुम्हारे यही बोर्ड्स एग्जाम है तुम्हारे नेक्स्ट करियर पाथ्स में तुम्हारे क्या कॉलेजेस होंगे क्या कौन से पाथ में तुम जाओगे अगर इसमें ही तुम अच्छे से uh, उसको रिजल्ट नहीं निकाल पाए तो तुम्हारा फ्यूचर भी उससे पूरा डिपेंडेंट है तो बोलोगे कि तुम सीरियस रहो पूरे वीक में कंसिस्टेंट रहो कुल प्रियम सो नाउ व्हाट आई वांट फ्रॉम यू इज बेसिकली बिकॉज दे माइट बी हैविंग अ फाइव डेज गैप राइट आफ्टर फिजिक्स एग्जामिनेशन नाउ लेट अस गिव देम योर स्ट्रेटेजी दैट दे हैव टू फॉलो इन द लास्ट मोमेंट एंड वन मोर थिंग यू शुड नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑन द स्ट्रैटेजी इट्स लाइक अ टिप फ्रॉम योर टॉपर सीनियर यू हैव टू लाइक नोट इड डाउन एवरी take out a paper note it down and whatever points you feel that you are missing or lacking then you have to implement it on yourself right yeah. over to you premon okay so the strategy that i would recommend is like chemistry is basically of two parts for cbse one is majorly organic chemistry which contains like 50% of the whole weightage of 12th class and another is combination of physical and inorganic because most chapters in cbse in physical and inorganic are deleted so it's like 50% is organic 50% is both of them so the five days strategy plan would be there are few high weightage chapters first i will list them down some in physical and organic there are very important chapters like solution chemical kinetics and electrochemistry in this chapters most major part is not deleted like the whole chapter is almost coming in the exam so i would recommend like these are high weightage chapters so you should like 
focus majority majority of your time in revising this physical chemistry chapters because physical chemistry mein kya hota hai there are numericals there are formulas there are graphs there are theory so physical chemistry mein wo sare concepts aa jayenge jo tum physics mein bhi apply karte ho ya maths mein bhi apply karte ho to physical chemistry mein ko ace karna is equivalent to acing your chemistry exam kyunki weightage bahut high hota hai uske chapters ke to main day 1 se start karunga डे वन तुम यू कैन सिलेक्ट टू केमिस्ट फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर्स सोल्यूशन एंड इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री दिज आर वन ऑफ द मेजर चैप्टर्स इन फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री सो इन मॉर्निंग यू कैन डू सोल्यूशन चैप्टर बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अ बिग चैप्टर देर आर फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट बट दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो देन इन द इवनिंग टाइम और आफ्टरनून यू कैन स्टार्ट विद योर इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री इज अ बिग चैप्टर बिकॉज देर आर मेनी टॉपिक्स एंड मेनी इक्वेशन एंड मेनी ग्राफ्स ऑल्सो विच माइट कम इन एग्जाम so i will recommend you to spend your whole afternoon till your evening revising the concepts and making a formula sheet again because it's physical chemistry so there are formulas in this is in this part of chemistry so note down the formulas revise it and do it and in the night you can do some pyq questions related to this chapter practice some numericals that you might find hard or check your pre board exam questions etc so that would be day 1 and day 2 you can start with uh, chemical kinetics for morning because chemical kinetics again is a big chapter in physical chemistry there are like major formulas in that chapter there are arrhenius equation there are a lot of graphs etc in that chapter so you should like go through the chapter properly there are rate equations there are the, a lot of graphs so you should revise the chapter practice the formulas make a formula sheet do numericals again it's physical chemistry so you should not just blindly study the theory you should also do numericals to have a hands on practice uh, after the morning in the afternoon you can start with the inorganic chapters there are two chapters in inorganic chemistry for class 12 then one is dnf block and another is coordination compounds dnf block majority of the part is deleted there are like only uh, trends etc and some compounds etc is left in dnf block which which will come in cbse exam compared to je exam so in cbsc you don't have to worry a lot about dnf block you just have to learn the trends which are in configuration electronic configura configurations then compounds made by dnf block and the characteristics that would be the major part that that will come from dnf block so after completing dnf block in the evening you can also start coordination compound again because a lot of part in coordination compound is also deleted uh, you can there are a lot of theory in coordination compound so now as we are entering into inorganic chemistry it would be a theoretical kind of journey because coordination compound there are a lot of theory lot of experiments a lot of uh, rules are there so practice those uh, study those theories revise the rules that are given in the ncert book or if you have made any notes prior to the board exam or previously in your whole 12th class revise them study them properly and again as the evening passes in the night you can do pyqs uh, revise some pre board questions or do any random questions from internet or do a small mock test regarding the particular chapter that would just help you boost up your confidence because jab tum dekhoge ki tumhare questions ho rahe hai ki is chapter se to tumko lagega ki ha exam mein to ho hi jayega to morale boost ke liye tum ye kar sakte ho to day 2 or day 1 and day 2 mein tumhara pura physical and organic khatam ho gaya अब मेजॉरिटी पार्ट आता है ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सो ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज रियली डिपेंडेंट ऑन इलेवेंथ कॉन्सेप्ट सो इफ योर इलेवेंथ कॉन्सेप्ट आर नॉट दैट शार्ट यू माइट हैव सम इश्यूज फॉर डूइंग अर ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर्स बट स्टिल इट्स सी बी एस ई एग्जाम सो यू डोंट हैव टू टेक दैट मच प्रेशर सो ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ चैप्टर्स एंड नन ऑफ दम आर डिलीटेड एक्सेप्ट अमीन्स सो अ पार्ट ऑफ अमीन्स इज रिलेटेड सो इन ऑर्गेनिक देर आर चैप्टर्स ऑफ हेलो एल्किन हेलोरिन्स देर आर एल्कोहल फिनॉल इथो देन एल डी हाइड कीटोन्स एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स एंड एंड बायोमालिकल्स सो दिज आर द मेजर चैप्टर्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री जो ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री कंटेन्स लाइक फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ योर सी बी एस ई केमिस्ट्री एग्जाम सो इफ यू डू दैट पार्ट इफ यू ऑर्गेनिक इज स्ट्रॉन्ग देन ए सिंग योर केमिस्ट्री एग्जाम वुड बी ईजी सो इन डे थ्री वी विल एंटर इन टू द रेलम ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री वेर वी विल study and revise the concepts which are left in organic chemistry so in day 3 in morning you can start with haloalkenes and halorenes there are a lot of reactions reactions you have to practice them you have to see how the reactions happen there are sn1 sn2 reactions so 
as this is last moment i want recommend you to like go in the depth of those uh, reactions how they happen or uh, reaction mechanisms just if you haven't studied just go through the overview of how the, the reactions happen practice the name reaction because in cbse more theoretical questions won't come from organic compared to je exams so uh, as it is cbse the high weightage of named reaction that might come so practice those kind of those reactions practice some questions in organic organic question uh, organic chemistry you will be fluent in it when you will do questions so by doing questions practicing your pyqs you will get to understand what kind of questions might come in your uh, boards exam from organic chemistry and in the evening you can start with alcohol phenol ether also alcohol phenol ether is not that big of a chapter there are some named equation that are very important and majority of that is not that much important if you just practice those named equation revise those named equation then it would be easy for you in the exam so that's what i will recommend you to do in day 3 and day 3 and in the night again practice those questions revise the concepts you studied from morning to the evening and apply them in your night in day 4 the chapters left are what uh, aldehyde ketones then there are amines and biomolecules as amines majority of part is deleted you can do it in like two uh, majorly one hour one or one and a half an hours because amines most major part is deleted so i would uh, recommend you to start day 4 in the morning with aldehyde ketones in carboxylic acid that's a big chapter there are a lot of reactions for aldehydes there are uh, reactions for ketones carboxylic acid then there are named reactions there are tests for these reactions so it's a big chapter so i would recommend you to spend at least 3 hours revising all the concepts all the reactions write down the reactions see if you start writing the reactions while you were while you are revising then it will just help you recall it in exam so spend your morning properly uh, revising aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acids and in the afternoon you can start with amines amines is a small chapter as i told you so uh, after doing amines for an hour you can jump into biomolecules biomolecules is a chapter that you might find a bit difficult in the starting because it has parts of biology also for students who don't have bio pc b they might find it a bit difficult but still it's majorly easy so mm -hmm. if you uh, if you go through the uh, concepts of biomolecules there are only few concepts that are majorly important how dna rna proteins and fats and etc their configurations etc so if you just go through the theories again and reactions how formation of glucose fructose those are the major topics in biomolecules so if you do those then again it's night time so practice the questions pyq see what kind of questions come from biomolecule because people some most students neglect biomolecules till the end because it's like the last chapter so they don't try to like practice it prior to the exam so in the end movement i would just recommend uh, do the pyqs check what kind of questions come and it's day 5 so day 5 again like in the physics video i told you not to take that much stress just stay calm and day 5 again from morning to in morning you can just revise that formula sheet that you made throughout your 5 days plan just go through the reactions the formulas in physical the main theory concepts in inorganic the reaction mechanisms in organic chemistry in the morning go through them just try to recall the concepts that you studied throughout the week and then just relax in the evening you can just take a walk or just take a rest just don't panic for chemistry exam that day. correct correct so this is the entire strategy that you have to follow it's not compulsory again i'm saying this because some of the students might say okay bhaiya you told like this but i want to prepare okay. like this so should i follow this or not so whatever questions are there in your mind like that please note again i'm telling it's not compulsory to follow just uh, these are the tips uh, from a, topper who have already done that who have achieved 100 by 100 and now uh, priyam let's move to like what are the other things that they have to do apart from studying so for example from morning to evening whatever you have mentioned yeah. those are the subjects things yeah. what are the extra things so for example uh, having a sample paper or mock test or kind yeah. of thing and um, revising or mm. something like that and uh, after this we can move to mistakes part but first let's cover this okay so pyqs and mock test uh you should only do see there are different type of students who are prepared there are different levels of preparation for different students some might someone might have done everything 
because of JE. Someone is just in the mid level, like trying to complete their syllabus. And, and some other kids are also there who are just starting their chemistry syllabus right now in the next five days. So for those students who are starting their uh, syllabus right now, I wouldn't recommend you to do any PYQ or mock test right now. You just follow the plan that I said you. Know the topics, know the concepts so that you can apply that in the exam. And for those students who have done like good prepar well preparation in the mid level and just want to complete the syllabus, then you can just spend few days, like two to three days for completing your syllabus. The next two days you can just do mock tests, PYQs. I would recommend you to give at least one mock test for three hours. Just sit in a silent room, uh, focus, create a timer, etc. And just give that exam and see what's your performance according to that. And for those students who have done everything, like if you want, if you're confident enough, then uh, you can give at least two to three mock tests in that five day gap to check uh, what's your performance level, how is your knowledge uh, as it was in the previous uh, term or etc. Is it similar right now to just recall your concepts, etc. So there are for different preparation levels, I would recommend this kind of strategies for me. Correct, correct. Cool. Now let's move to the final thing that is like the mistakes that they do in the last moment because yeah. some students as you have mentioned in the earlier only some students might relax in their day yeah. one some students might not uh, miss some of the Concept. like exceptions yeah. or maybe there would be some things that are specific to chemistry yeah. so if you can just point that out and tell them so that they can yeah. avoid those mistakes and get a hundred of hundred so the mistakes that uh, i would like to point you out is like a five days may don't distract maton in phone mein reels chala rahe ho ya soye hue ho tv dekh rahe ho ya bar doston ke sath ghumne chale gaye ki 5 din ki chutti hai exam to hai abhi dekhenge to wo sab mat karo don't do that again be consistent with your studies because if you stay consistent your results will be also consistent remove all distraction in that next 5 days but still it's not like you have to like spend hours like 8 hours you're spending a day in that next 5 days so if you start uh, giving too much time in a particular day, like spending eight to nine hours studying a concept, then you will just burden yourself. You're putting stress in your mind. So if you put stress in your mind, uh, you will become stressful while writing an exam. So just spend four to five hours, according to you, how much, what's le what your level of preparation is and how fast you can revise. Just spend that adequate amount of time for studies. Don't overburden yourself with the concepts which you might have not studied uh, in prior to the exam. Just be confident with your preparation, revise the concepts which you studied and be confident that you will ace the exam. So if you have a, a optimistic uh, mindset, then you will definitely crack your exam. Another mistakes would be while writing the exam again, it's chemistry. So there would in physical, there would be writing of units. So don't forget the units in graph uh, while solving graphs, make sure you uh, mark your graphs properly. Uh, Again, in organic chemistry, uh, write the steps of the me reaction mechanism. If, if it's asked in the question, label your diagrams properly. That would just help the invigilator see that oh, the student writes in a clean way and will help you get more marks, basically. Get into the words of your friends, like, uh, like have you done this? Have you done this concepts or not? That will just create panic in you. So again, be confident with your preparation. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you so much, Priyam, for this entire strategy. And you guys, if you are watching until this end, what are the other things that I say to you is basically, once your physics paper is done, don't discuss with your friends or don't get panic from anyone else. Just stay focused, clear the chemistry, and then you have the other examinations as mathematics and all. For all of those, we have made videos and strategies for you in English, like to help you guys, right? from your seniors. So make sure that you watch those videos and just note it down whatever the strategies have been shared and watch few other videos and watch, note it down and based on that you make your own plan and implement that and it would be really helpful for you as well. And if you also want to discuss anything, if you have any specific doubts, then I will also link uh, Priyam's LinkedIn link in the description below. If you are someone who are passionate about computer science, then I would also request you to check out Scalar School of Technology, like where your senior is studying right now. And with that, thanks for watching until this very end. Make sure you like this video, share this video with your friends, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. All, All the, the best. best.